back to my back to my cooking show. Yeah, we're doing some lemon chicken. Some lemon chicken today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you just drop that whole lemon in that motherfucker that zest. All that shit. Let that marinate for a bit. It's a new, uh, it's a new grill, so I'm gonna let that shit heat up. You don't want to taste that metal shit. So yeah, that's what the marinade look like after you mix that shit up. I got, my, I got to put my special ingredient in this shit. Cilantro. Throw that cilantro on there. Uh, you know, I ain't left-handed, but shit, you know, that right hand, right hand tape. You know. The Xbox. Yo, that shit ready to go. I like to stab my chicken. That way the marinade finds its way inside the little stab holes. So I just stab that shit like nick, 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 nick. Shank that shit, nigga. Like, like that shit stole something from me. Nigga, nigga, what the fuck? Stole my shit, nigga. Don't be scared to flip that chicken around. Let that marinade get in the motherfucking chicken. Stab that shit on the outside, nigga. See, I got a little bit of lemon pill. See, this is the secret ingredient. You got to stab that lemon pill inside that shit so it, it tastes like lemon. You don't want this lemon on the top. You want the inside of that shit to taste like lemon. We're going to let that cilantro work. We're going to throw this in the fridge. Let that shit chill out while we get the other shit ready. Can't go wrong with the broccoli. I'm going to clean that shit off a little bit. Make some special uh, sauteed broccoli. Just throw a little olive oil on that shit. They'll never know. We, gonna, um, we got the broccoli cooking. We're going to put that real low because we don't want that shit to cook too fast. I put water in that shit. You know what I'm saying? I put a little water in it with the olive oil because you don't want to, like, fry the fucking broccoli. And the secret ingredient is going to be the olive oil and the Italian dressing. They put generous amounts of this shit. This shit makes vegetables taste like fucking chicken. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Make it taste good for niggas that don't like to eat they veggies and shit. That shit make it taste like I also like to do the hot sauce on my shit. Like when I'm cooking it for like the little flavor when I'm cooking this shit, I'll use this this the shit I use. So yeah, put the fucking hot sauce in there. Cause you're just trying to make a sauce to go under the broccoli. You know like when you you know it's like a little sauce. Trying to make a little sauce under the broccoli. You definitely gotta put some pepper. A little bit of that, a little onion herbs, why not? that much, you know what I'm saying, cover the top layer, you know fuck it, it's better. I put the cilantro on here too, it fucks people's heads up, because they think they about to eat some broccoli, then they taste cilantro, they be like, what the fuck? Now we got it together, now we just mix that shit up, you know what I'm saying, get it all together. That's our little broccoli cook over there, so, they're too ready, and that's really it. I mean, what the fuck more you want? It's chicken and broccoli, I mean, what the fuck? If you want to be unhealthy, and you want to eat some macaroni and cheese with it, we're not doing that today. So let that shit cook slow. You don't want that shit to overcook because then the broccoli start turning brown and now you got that soggy ass broccoli. You don't want that. So you just let that shit do its thing. You know what I'm saying? Let that shit do its thing. See, when the broccoli starts looking like this, it's probably a good time to, to take this shit out because any longer and this shit gonna OD. We got, let me gonna test it out. Let me test one. But it's almost done. Maybe one more minute. Maybe one more minute. It should still be golden. When that shit start looking brown like that one, it's too much. So yeah, I'm gonna just put that to the side because I didn't buy that. I didn't buy no uh, no other pots and pans yet. So I'm gonna just put this shit to the side. But that's how that shit's supposed to be looking. See that sauce? See that sauce? If you must do a starch, you just can't help yourself. I'd uh, recommend a good uh, couscous. So yeah, just follow the instructions. Don't microwave this shit, man. This seems to be microwave. Just do it like this. I'll put it in a fucking pot. So I just dice up some tomatoes. I'm gonna do some uh, some homemade cilantro like as garnishments to put on the shot because I like my shit to look good when I'm eating my shit. All right, we waited long enough for this, so we ready to just throw this bitch on the bitch. I'm trying to FaceTime me while I got my cooking show, man. I'll be right back. I just poured the couscous in. I got a little FaceTime. So put the couscous in. You're supposed to reduce the heat. You're supposed to stir this shit. You know what I'm saying? To reduce the heat. But this shit pretty much cooks itself. You don't really gotta do shit with this. Just put this shit on, stir it, reduce that heat, 
She was a rat. Five minutes, you're gonna be eating little rice nuggets. So yeah, this is my homemade uh, pico de guy on my side, little shit on the side. I'm gonna just put, yeah, you know, just little onions, uh, tomato, cilantro. Uh, uh, if you get to know me, you realize I put cilantro and everything. Check on the lemon pepper chicken, see what this shit doing. Okay, okay, okay. Make sure that middle is cooked real good, you know what I'm saying? Them juices. You know what I'm saying? It's still looking alright though. Nice and charcoal. Yeah, that's that barbecue life. I ain't, that other side ain't cooked good though. I might need to push that back. We just gonna let it give it five minutes to do its own thing. Couscous done. All you gotta do is fluff this shit. You're like, what's that? What's couscous? Yeah, let eat again. Yeah, you don't eat this shit. It's that good shit. Yeah, you ain't never had this shit in your rabbit ass life. And that's how the coos supposed to be looking. That's how that coos, you know what I'm saying? Get it looking real coosy. I'll be all up in the coosy. Yeah, mix all this shit up with the lemon. You know what I'm saying? Got you a little, little cilantro mix. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That's, that's that prize lemon chicken right there. That's how you do it. You take one of these. You know what I'm saying? Throw that shit over here, and he charge a bitch a thousand dollars. Yeah, sometimes you gotta take a break from all that restaurant eating, and you gotta make your own shit. You know, you gotta make your own shit. So we here making breakfast, and you know, little eggs, cilantro, tomatoes, onions, and you know, we back eating healthy. Oh shit, we better put this away. Got some little turkey sausage. You know, it's that processed shit, but hey, at least it ain't the pork. At least it ain't the pork. Season the eggs, you know, make sure you gotta season it right. You know, this is my season, you know, but this is, but you use whatever you want, you know, but don't make no bland eggs that just taste like bland ass eggs because that's not how the chefs do it. I think I'm back healthy enough to eat some cheese, so I'm gonna use some of this uh, crack bar. This is my favorite. Uh, I usually get the one with the gold for you, but this this will do the job. Not too much, just enough. Just enough so that shit burns and shit. Y'all don't know how to make an omelet. Just admit it. You don't know what the fuck you doing. Just sit back and watch. I'm gonna show you how to make a fucking omelet. You don't know how to do this shit. Yeah, when I was uh, a teenager, I used to work at the Marriott. And there was a guy, the one job that I had in my life, there was a guy named Francois. We used to call him the Egg Doctor. And uh, Francois taught me this technique, and I'll show you. You don't really move the egg around, you just kind of, you just move it forward. Oh, it's cooking kind of fast, but yeah, you don't really, uh, you just let the juices fall over. It's kind of chunky, but yeah, you know, it's like a light scramble, you know, you just let that, yeah, you, see, you just let that shit fall, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you can't, you're not supposed to really fuck with it too much. Just let it do what it do. I can't stand when I see motherfuckers making scrambled egg and they just scrape in the pan. I'm like, what the fuck? And that's why the, the, the non-stick shit starts coming up at the bottom of the pan. See, I shouldn't even be using a metal fork. You're supposed to use a plastic fork. And that's why the non-stick shit comes, scrapes off your pan, and then you be eating fucking Teflon in your eggs, you dumb motherfucker. Stop scraping the bottom of the pan when you are uh, scrambling your eggs, you stupid piece of shit. Yeah, that's how it's shit's supposed to look. Kind of burnt, but that's, that's the cheese. That's the cheese you're looking at. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the scramble. That's the scramble. That's that's called the Presley scramble, right there. Yeah. Look at that shit. Fresh strawberries on deck. What's breakfast without some fruit? You know, slice that shit up a little bit. Yeah, we throw some pineapples on the side of that. I had a nice Belgian waffle, you know. And uh, let me throw some more pineapples in there, cause you can never have too many pineapples. And then you take that right there, and then you throw that on there, and you charge a bitch a thousand dollars. Why could I forget the most important ingredient? Maple syrup. Not that cheap shit. Not that fake shit. Not that Aunt Jemima. Not that high fructose corn syrup shit. That real shit that come from the tree. Yeah. The maple tree, that is. And then you go like that. And how could it not be complete without Frank's hot sauce? And there you have it. 
the Prezi breakfast. Why not do some pineapple juice and some sparkling Pellegrino, huh? 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 Not too much. You don't want the uh, shit to be too diluted, and you don't want it. But you want it still sparkling. That's and there you have it. Thanks for watching. More recipes coming soon. Have a blessed day.